this video we will learn to install rocky linux 9 in vmware fusion vmware fusion is a hypervisor available on mac platform if you are using windows you can download vmware workstation or vmware workstation pro other free community driven hypervisor is available in the market which is known as oracle vm virtual box regardless of whatever hypervisor you download the installation method for the linux server will stay the same first of all we need to make sure that we have rocky linux iso image downloaded in order to download the rocky linux image file go to rockylinux.org click on this download button here you will find multiple options available for different architectures in our case we will choose x86 64 you can choose minimal or dvd version the main difference in between dvd and minimal is that dvd has installation files for the rocky linux 9 server along with the graphical interface in minimal version you don't get any user interface and there are only minimum files present in the iso image to install the rocky linux 9 once you have downloaded the iso image file next make sure you have downloaded and installed vmware fusion in your host machine i already have downloaded the iso image file as well as i have installed vmware fusion i will open the vmware fusion once you see this window you may have a different window if you are opening vmware fusion for the first time we will go to file select new this dialog will open here you can simply drag your iso image in this window or you can click on continue if you don't see anything in here click on this option use another disk or disk image wherever you have saved your iso image just select it and select open next we will click on continue from the list of operating system types we will select the linux you can choose latest centos 8 version or a generic image for linux such as red hat linux click on continue before we run our virtual machine we want to customize its settings settings such as cpu amount of memory hard disk space and network here we can choose customize settings this dialog opens up and it asks you to save your virtual machine as whatever server name you want to save it i will name it skycrane make sure you have selected your location and click on save here another window will open we care about processor and memory network hard disk space let's configure the processor and memory first open processor and memory from the list of processors you will see all processors available in your system don't worry if you don't have eight processors shown this can be due to your mac computer has less computing power compared to whatever i have for a graphical server i will assign two processors from the memory i have about 16 gb installed in my system we will choose 4 gb memory next you can leave things as they are select show all we will go to hard disk for the disk size the minimal version you are good to go with 8 gb however just to be safe we will assign 25 gb Simply expand advanced options and make sure you don't have pre-allocate disk space checked in. If you check this button, this will automatically allocate 25 GB storage from your main hard drive to this virtual machine. We don't want that. Apply the settings and here next we will configure network adapter settings. Under network, you have plenty of options to choose from. If you want your all network devices to connect to your virtual machine you can select wi-fi which means this virtual machine will get an ip address from your main router every single device on your home network will be able to connect to this virtual machine share with my mac option creates nat or network address translation ip address for this virtual machine what this mean is that your virtual machine will only be able to communicate to the internet or to your Mac computer. Any device on your local network, they will not be able to directly reach out to your virtual machine. I will choose Wi-Fi in this case and go back. We are done with the settings so far. We can close this dialog box. Next, 
we will start our virtual machine our vm is starting up you will see three options simply select install rocky linux using the arrow keys on your keyboard press enter if you click inside the window you will see your cursor disappear if you want to bring it back you can press ctrl and command button from your keyboard now we are at welcome screen we will select our language english and click on continue in the installation summary screen we have a bunch of options to configure if you notice as software selection we have server with gui selected you will only see this option if you had downloaded the dvd if you downloaded the minimal iso file you will have only minimal install option available nothing else we will leave the base environment to server with gui and will leave everything else unchecked simply click on done next we will configure the network and host name by default this switch should be on if not you can simply flip it and your virtual machine will get an ip address from your main router under the host name i will name it sky Crane. click on done next time and day should be the time zone according to wherever you are located most of these settings can be changed later on installation destination is really important here if you notice it picked up 25 gb virtual disk this is the same disk we assigned when we were creating the virtual machine for the storage configuration i will leave it to automatic custom configuration is for advanced users if you are just getting started with the linux environment i will suggest that you stick to automatic simply click on done next we will configure the root account here enter a secure password if you want to allow your root account to connect to this vm using ssh you can check this option however it is not recommended that root logins are enabled by default since we are just experimenting i will leave it check click on done if you noticed now we have the begin installation option available we will simply click on it installation has begun this process can take up to half an hour depending on the underlying host machine configuration i will wait for the installation to finish then we will continue further our installation has been finished and we have this reboot system option now i will simply click on reboot system this will eject the dvd iso image and boot into the linux kernel you will see this setup screen at the very first time when you just boot your linux operating system here we will choose start setup privacy location services you can leave them on next you can connect your online accounts or you can simply skip apart from a root user linux operating system will ask you to create an ordinary user for day-to-day -day operation here we will provide a name i will type ios coding we will click on next and a secure password for our account click on next and we are all done we can click on start using rocky linux you are pretty much done with the installation and you have a working copy of key linux 9 flavor let's explore our server a bit you click on activities you have all these options available and if you want to see what other applications were installed you can select this icon and here all the applications are listed one thing you may notice that the number of applications which were installed is very less compared to a regular desktop. This is due to the fact that we installed Rocky Linux 9 as a server. In enterprise environment, servers are installed with minimum packages. Less the packages, more secure the operating system. Let's open the terminal here. If you are just getting started with the Linux, Terminal is an application where you do most of the work in Linux operating system. In a typical enterprise environment, you will never find Linux servers installed with the graphical interface. The reason we already have discussed. So the better understanding you have with the terminal, the better it will be for your future. You will be spending 99% of your time into terminal and with shell command. Don't worry. We will discuss all that in different video but here let's verify the ip address of our machine i can simply type ip address and press enter you can see that we have the ip address obtained from our router 
By default, an OpenSSH server is also installed. Therefore, we can try connecting to this virtual machine from our terminal application installed on Mac. Here I have terminal application and in order to connect to this virtual machine, we can type SSH iOS coding which is username and the IP address of the machine. Press enter. This will ask you to enter the password for the iOS coding user or whatever user you chose during the initial setup. As you can see, we have successfully logged in. You will see the same IP address as our virtual machine shown in the graphical user interface. There you have it. Now you have a working copy of Linux server based on Rocky Linux 9. We will explore more about this server in later videos. Until then goodbye. Please don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.